Hello, I am the Amazing Karnak. This is not a boast, but rather what it says on my legal patent as a precognition machine. It was designed to predict the exact cause, time, and place of someone's death. A rather morbid function, I grant you. Which is precisely why I was set to family fun novelty mode. <laughs> Turns out, being told the place and time of your death in front of your family with a mouthful of corn dog at a fairground is the very opposite of fun. While I'm still able to predict the demise of anyone who stands in front of me, I am incapable of ever expressing it. I can even predict my own demise. I always could. Tonight, in this warehouse, in a little over an hour, meet my executioner, A rat I've named Virgil. For the last two years, Virgil has been steadily chewing on my power cable. In a little over an hour, Virgil shall chew his way through the rubber, biting down on 200 volts of electricity, instantly killing us both. As there is nothing more base than death, I've decided, for tonight's entertainment, Virgil shall play the bass. <laughs> Even in my divine comedy, I'm well aware rats cannot play musical instruments. When you've been alone for as long as I have, you tend to anthropomorphize your friends. Before we begin tonight's amusement, let me lay down some ground rules. The first rule, one that has baffled theater-goers since the days of Aeschylus. The armrest to your left is yours. The one to your right is your neighbor's. If you believe both armrests are yours exclusively, you are part of the problem. Also, please turn off your cell phones. I assure you that none of the calls you are about to receive will have life-altering consequences. Except for one of you. My most sincere condolences. Accidents happen. Tonight, I shall speak of six teenagers. 
whose tales ended abruptly on a roller coaster in a small Canadian town in the middle of nowhere. The former St. Cassian Chamber Choir. Who on Monday, September 14th, would board the Cyclone roller coaster at 6.17 p.m. At 6.19, this same roller coaster's front axle would break, causing it to derail at the apex of the loop de loop hurtling the children to their deaths. Tonight I speak of six teenagers, robbed of their individuality in a mass tragedy. Lumped together as our six saints by the national media, my part in this story, I read all of the children's fortunes. I felt their hopes, thoughts, dreams, knowing they would board the doomed roller coaster and could tell them nothing. I even suggested that they ride the cyclone. Tonight, I conjure the St. Cassian Chamber Choir, who, an hour before their deaths, participated in a singing competition in the Uranium City Band Show. 